Hello, my name is Thomas Lee. I'm, I am with Reality Flex Studios. This is part two of how to create a flashlight on battery power. So let's get to it. Okay, when I uh, leave it off from the last video, we just created the HUD that has a little bit of logic that if you have a flashlight, I'm going to get rid of that exclamation point. If you have a flashlight, then it will display flash uh, the text um, flashlight and it will display the batteries and how many batteries you have so let's get on with the actual placing in the uh, in the game these objects and how to set them to actually be picked up well in the downloads in the description below uh, you get the, there's a download to all these models and I have a battery flashlight and the headlamp uh, all three models are freely available they're all textured um, and I'll go over how we're gonna place them and everything so the first one we can do let's do the f flashlight uh, one thing on the import settings this was made in 3D Studio Max and it is huge if you set the scale factor to 1. So just to save a headache, set it to 0 0.01 and then drag it from your project. And then let's see, we can, I'm going to double click on it in the hierarchy. We'll zoom in. And Let's see. Point one. That looks good for a pickup item. So you don't need it to be like real size, but for a pickup item, that's that's okay. And what I'm also going to do is set a point light because you remember when we press play, it's pitch dark. So we kind of want the guy to be able to see something to know where the, um, so we're going to give this some um, ambient light. So all we're going to do is take the flash, oh, actually before I do that, now that we have it at a good size, I'm just going to drag it down to my prefabs folder. So now if by some chance this gets deleted from the hierarchy for some reason you don't have to go through the scaling again you can just drag it from here and you can even have multiple flashlights on the scene um, just gonna press delete to get rid of that but what I want to do is first of all make this um, actually add a in the components menu physics and then a box collider and then check is trigger. I'm going to apply that to save it to the prefab. And I'm also going to drag the pickup script to it so it's there. So we don't have to worry about forgetting to put that on later. And I'm also going to apply that so it saves it to the prefab. And then we can go on to the actual coding of pickup. So the pickup script is going to have what's called an, an enum which is short for enumerator which is basically a variable that holds a list of items that can be words but all it all the compiler knows is numbers associated with those words just makes it really easy to give a person a choice of multiple things that can be described in words. Um, you'll you'll see what I mean here in a few moments. So we're gonna say public enum. I'm gonna call it item, and then it's just gonna be flashlight. And battery. Then we're gonna declare a public item called item, and you notice that. The keyword is item because that's the name of the enum, and then the lowercase item 
is the variable name. And what I want to show you is in Unity, the inspector detects it as an enum, and now this pickup script can be attached to both the flashlight and the battery, and we can differentiate between the two two objects by setting this this variable. So we're going to leave it as a flashlight, and I'll apply that, and get back to the script. So. We're going to use the on trigger enter, on trigger enter, and we want to differentiate between the flashlight and the battery, of course. So if item, that's the variable of the enum, is equal to item flashlight, then we're going to do something different than if it's a battery. For right now we'll do HUD, that's the other script. We're going to use the has flashlight uh, bool, the static bool, and we're going to set that to true. And if it's anything else, which the only other thing it can be is battery, we're going to say else HUD battery count plus plus. And the plus plus, all it does, and I'm going to use resharper and get rid of the braces, because if an if or an else statement only has one line, you don't need the braces. And it's just for aesthetics for me. You can leave the braces, it doesn't do anything, doesn't make anything work differently. So the plus plus increments the battery count variable by one. And then of course, when it's picked up, we want to destroy game object and the lowercase g in game object means itself. It means the game object associated with what the script is attached to. Okay. And, and that's it. So we should be able to play and walk over to this. And now you see the flashlight appears in the HUD because now we have it. And it dis it disappeared from the uh, hierarchy view. Okay, and I forgot to put that ambient light. So let's do that right now. Just highlight it. Game object, other, we're going to use a point light, and going to use the W, E, and R, that's for position, rotation, and scale. We're going to position it over, really on the flashlight. I'm going to make the intensity of low, let's see, five range. I'm gonna make it low just because you can see it now even from far away, so it doesn't need that much light. But now you'll notice there's no flashlight text up here. Walk right over to it and boom. Now it disappeared from the hierarchy and we get the text there in case you didn't notice that last time. Okay, so now we have this, uh, the pickup of the flashlight working. So I'm going to stop right there and see you in the next one.